Miss Ravs here on the next episode of Ravs Kitchen Up, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd pick up Hunger Games. This destroyed me. I remember watching The Hunger Games a really long time ago, uh, but I have the memory of a fucking peanut, so I do not remember much. Part one, the tributes. I actually really liked the first chapter. It was a lot of world building, and you know me, I'm a, I'm a sucker for dystopian world building. The subtle hint that District 12 works a certain way, but there's something lurking, there's something around the corner called the Hunger Games. It's going to shake the dynamic between the characters. I love that. There's the line. I volunteer, I guess. I volunteer as tribute. Prim's name gets chosen from the bunch. And as an older sister, I honestly would have just let my sister go. <laughs> Sis, I love you, but it sucks to be you. <laughs> I really like this Hamish character. He's a past survivor, a past winner from District 12. I roughly remember him in the movie. He was like a role model or something, right? Peter Malark was called. He was the second tribute. Like she just like her inner dialogue here is just like oh no like not him she is really not digging pita i wonder why effie trinket is something oh okay so i'm on um page 33 and we got the story of why katniss was just like no not pita why him why him it's because he gave her a piece of bread he's such a he seems like such a bean pita seems like such a bean I can't really, I can't remember if this Peta Gail Katniss thing was a love triangle. I don't really fuck with love triangles. I am in love with Cinna. In love with Cinna. He is my baby daddy. In love with Cinna. He is my husband. In love with Cinna. No, I literally, I love this man. I feel like just, just his entrance alone, the way they introduced him. I have a feeling he's gonna be my favorite. Ah, oh, okay, so the flaming entrance. Uh, so they're like in the training center or whatever the fuck. And like, there's this little girl named Rue. But I roughly remember Rue. But that's only if I'm remembering right. I. <laughs> I'm sorry to be that bitch, but if that's not Aries energy right there. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> what a slick bastard. Peter blushes, beat red, and stammers out because, because she came here with me. This, is this what Haymitch was planning? Part two, the games. Katniss was furious, but like, girl, like... Don't make his hands bleed, that's a little extra. Baby daddy made his appearance once again. He's basically reassuring Katniss saying that I, if I could, I would put my money on you and like, you got this. He's like hyping my girl up. He's like, good luck girl on fire. My love for him is what is on fire right now. Oh, the games are beginning. Okay. After 11, 60 seconds. That's how long we require to stand. Step off before the minute is up and landmines blow your legs off. So there's like this group of little bitches named the Careers. They're talking about finding Katniss. She's in her tree. She's up in uh, she's up in the tree chilling. You know. It says, "I almost fall out of the tree." The voice belongs to Pita. I retract my bean certification that I had given him. I retract it. In the middle of the game, the fire was used to make the tributes move because I guess things are boring for like the capital, you know? That's fucked up. It's literally a game. She's in so much pain, dude. Peter, you better come and fucking fix it right now. Or Cinna, just drop Cinna into the, into the game and just have him kiss it, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it would have healed. Yes, Rue. I kind of remember Rue, but I don't remember what happens to Rue. There's a lot of foreshadowing here, like there's this gut feeling, you know? But I just, I have a bad feeling. Ooh, she got sponsor medicine. Okay, okay. Can it come and fucking salvage and heal the aches in my heart? I don't have a burnt leg, but I sure do have an embarrassing life. They got the bow. She got the bow. Get that bow. Get that bow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Peter's like hissing at her, telling him like her to like leave and get up and like run. So maybe it is just like a part of his plan. What is your plan, boy? There is gonna be a love triangle. Is he simply working the lover boy angle? Or was he actually trying to protect me? He's like, I wonder what Gail made of the incident for a moment. And then I pushed the whole thing out of my mind because for some reason, Peter and Gail Gail and Pita do not coexist well together in my thoughts. It's because, bitch, you have feelings for both of them. And I don't understand how one can have feeling for two men. Like, why couldn't it be like Cinna and Cinna? 
So I'm on page 200. Katniss and Rue and like Katniss asked her if she wants to form an alliance. Rue was just like, you want me for an ally? All I imagine is a fucking puppy dog. I don't like, I have a bad feeling. It's that gut, man. It's that gut feeling. I don't know if it's gas though. I get attached to characters in a, in a way that is just not healthy sometimes. And Rue, I want to protect at all costs. So kill Peter before you kill him. No. So Rue got shot, but does not mean she's dead. Right? He's asking her to sing. Oh my god. I guess the gut feeling was not gas after all. No. I am a crying mess. She has like a funeral. It's humanizing in comparison to everything, the dehumanizing that is happening in the game. She has a feeling they're gonna cut that out. I had a fucking- This got me crying worse than I did for Mateus, man. Okay, so she got another gift from a sponsor. It's from District 11, who can't even feed themselves, and they gave her a loof- a loaf. <laughs> Gave her a loaf of bread because of how nice she was to Rue in her final. Oh damn, I didn't even realize. I was so caught up in Rue, I didn't realize that the guy that shot Rue was Katniss's first kill. Oh, oh, two tributes can win this year. I call out Peta's name. Bitch, go get that man's. Then came part three. Damn, they kiss kiss. You know, he's being all lovey-dovey and shit. Katniss doesn't know what to believe because she feels like it might be an act and he's really great at this stuff. But like, I honestly don't think it's an act for him. Girl, what is this? She she kissing Peter again, but then like literally in the next paragraph, she thinking of Gail. <gasps> Thresh saved her because she helped Rue. He did it for Rue because they were from the same district, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really hope Thresh doesn't die because he's my second, he's my other favorite now. I fucks with Thresh. Is she catching feelings? And it's, it's not just that I don't want to be alone, it's him. I don't want to lose the boy with the bread. Her and the bread, man. Oh my God. The boy with bread. Peter and Peter bread. And his father is a Baker. You know Thresh, the guy I said, my favorite now, besides my baby daddy? He's dead. Berries. I remember the, the author mentioning berries, but I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. Wait, why do I have such a terrible fucking memory? Foxface ate the berries that PETA, you know, gathered and she died. Someone that Katniss has been admiring from afar because she's kind of been really smart, but I guess not that smart because she ate the berries that killed her. It's okay, sis. I would have ate berries too. But then again, I wouldn't make it this far. <laughs> mutations of some sort or mutations? They're like big ass dogs. They're not natural born animals, but like huge wolves. They're attacking Kato, Pita, and Katniss. I'm sorry, what? Glimmer? Glimmer's eyes. The mutts are humans. They're the tributes. Oh my god, Kato is being tortured. He's still not dead. He's been thrashing around. Put him out of his misery. <laughs> and yeah, they put him out of his misery. Are you fucking serious? Greetings to the final contestants of the 74th Hunger Games. The earlier revision has been revoked. Closer examination of the rule book has disclosed that only one winner may be allowed. You can fuck yourself. They weren't having it at all. They ended up taking berries and were like, we're gonna eat this together. So they can't have no victor. <laughs> so a very frantic voice said, stop, stop, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to pronounce the victors, Katniss Everdeen and Peter Millar. Okay, so I think they ruffled a couple of feathers for doing that and they're in trouble. Girl, he, I, I think my suspicion was right. Pete has been in love. I knew it was gonna be awkward. Like if both of them made it out, it was gonna be awkward because like, she still like has weird feelings for Yale and she has to like lay it down for Pita and be like, peace, I don't know what I want. And that was my journey. And I have a little couple of sticky notes that I wanna go through with y'all.
positive. The world building. I really, as a dystopian lover myself, I really loved how from the get-go, from chapter one, we were discovering the world as we were going and moving with the main character. I enjoyed the pacing. It's a typical dystopian YA pacing. The games were brutal and amazing and disgusting and painful. I am a crying mess. I just can't get over how when the game was slow and the kids weren't killing each other, I don't know why I'm doing this, the game makers literally forced them into each other's proximities so that they would kill each other. Without the sponsors and without external help or uh, alliances, you really didn't have much going for you. There was no white room because of this because the game in itself gave a profound understanding to the setting these kids were in, which Katniss's personality. I, I, I think I probably, I think I probably wouldn't be her friend, <laughs> but she was consistent. All these elements that made Katniss Katniss were carried out throughout the book and her character stayed consistent with her personality. It wasn't like she started one way and ended another. She grew, but it wasn't as if her entire personality flipped. I love it when that happens because a lot of the time authors kind of drift off or they think that character's trajectory should be primarily based on how they begin and how they end, but that's not necessarily the case. It doesn't mean that their personality has to do a complete 360. Negatives. I understand that the capital was the bigger picture. The capital was the bigger enemy. But when it came to like an actual threatening antagonist or villain, Cato, like I didn't care for him, nor did I think he had a chance against Katniss or Peeta. Peeta was like half dying in the book and I still felt like he could kill Cato. If the capital didn't change up the rules in the first place or didn't give this false pretense that two people can survive, say Katniss were to be up against Cato at the end, I wouldn't be scared. Another thing I didn't really enjoy was the development of the side characters. Rightfully so, it felt like a lot of bunch of scared kids, but even the egotistical, arrogant ones weren't necessarily getting on my nerves, you know? And I just, I don't know, I wish like some of them got on my nerves a little. It made them a little bit more a part of the story, it made them attack Katniss more. I just felt like the odds shouldn't have been in her favor that way. Hunger Games. Now, next will be Catching Fire. To end, I post bookish content on Mondays and writing content on Fridays. And sometimes, to sprinkle shit up, I post on Wednesdays if I feel like it. If you're interested in that at all, subscribe. If not, nice seeing y'all.